This is the evolution of the Volkswagen Passat. Exactly 50 years ago, one of the most successful Volkswagen vehicles, the Passat, was launched. With more than 34 million units sold worldwide, the Passat is the best-selling Volkswagen of all time after the Golf. What story does it hide and what made it so popular? Let's discover. In 1973, Volkswagen was preparing to launch a new family car to replace the old Volkswagen Type 3 and Type 4 models. Volkswagen named it the Passat after a tropical wind that blows constantly and strongly. The first Passat was designed by Giorgito Di Giro, a famous Italian car designer who was inspired by the Audi AT. It used a fastback style with a hatchback body, front-wheel drive, and petrol or diesel engines borrowed from the Audi AT. Depending on the market in which it was sold, it had a round or rectangular headlights and was available in versions with two or four doors as well as a station wagon. The range subsequently received a facelift in 1977 with a revised interior and exterior. The Passat was a commercial success and an important step in the history of Volkswagen, paving the way for the next generation. The second generation came in 1981 with a completely changed design with a longer and lower body with a larger trunk. It had a sharp shape, a front grille separated from the headlights, which were now rectangular and large. It was only available in a sedan, station wagon, or hatchback. The new Passat was a family car aimed at customers looking for comfort, space, and economy. Like the previous generation, the B2 Passat was sold mainly with four-cylinder petrol and diesel engines with cylinder capacities from 1.3 liters to 2.2 liters. In 1985, the second-generation Passat received a slight facelift consisting of new, larger bumpers, interior touches, and a new front grille, and a three-door hatchback was discontinued. The Passat B3, the third model in the Passat series, was launched in 1988 and was only available in sedan and station wagon versions. This was the first Passat built on a Volkswagen platform and the first with a transverse engine instead of a longitudinal one. The Passat B3 had a curved and aerodynamic design, no front wheel, just a large Volkswagen logo on the hood. The interior has been improved especially in the area of the dashboard and instrument cluster. In this generation, gasoline and diesel engines were offered with cylinder capacities between 1.6 liters and 2.8 liters VR6 with 174 horsepower. For the third generation, Volkswagen introduced a facelift model called the B4. Despite the new name, the facelift received a new face by introducing a grid between the revised headlights. Under the hood, the Passat offered either gasoline engines between 1.9 liters and 2.9 liters V6 VR6 or 1.9 liters diesel. The Volkswagen Passat B5 was a revolution in the history of the model, bringing a new design with a rounded silhouette, rectangular headlights, and taillights with a rounded appearance. The same rounded shape were also found inside, but the dashboard was completely redesigned. The Passat B5 had a varied offer of gasoline or diesel engines, the most well-known and appreciated being the TDI engines, recognized for their reliability and fuel efficiency. In 2001, the Passat B5 received a facelift which brought changes to the headlights, bars, and taillights. New engines and transmissions were also introduced from 102 bhp, 1.6 liter petrol units, to 275 bhp, 4 liter units. The fifth generation Passat came with new concept and proved to be very successful. The exterior design was completely new, with redesigned headlights and taillights and an enlarged radiator grille. This model was also appreciated for its very spacious interiors with a roomy dashboard and a redesigned central console. Under the hood, the range of engines included petrol, diesel engines between 1.4 liters and 3.2 liters for R36 3.6 liter V6 performance version. In 2010, Volkswagen rebranded the Passat, calling it the B7 and claiming that it was a new generation, although it was the same car with the new look. Therefore, the exterior and interior design as well as the engines were improved. The Volkswagen Passat B8 was a car that impressed with its new design, which combined elegance with power. On the outside, it had a refined and dynamic appearance with precise lines that gave it a unique style. A distinctive element of the new Passat was the radiator grille, which perfectly integrates between the elongated and thin halogen and LED headlights. The Volkswagen Passat B8 also excelled in the interior. 
which was designed for the comfort and pleasure of the driver. The technological revolution begins just beyond the steering wheel, where a 12.3-inch screen has been installed instead of the dashboard instruments, and there is no shortage of innovative equipment. Under the hood, Volkswagen installed a wide range of engines, all with direct injection and turbo technology. For the first time, the Passat V8 also came with a plug-in hybrid version with a maximum power of 211 horsepower, which promises a total autonomy of 960 kilometers. In 2019, the Passat P8 received a facelift which brought changes to the Matrix LED headlights, bars, taillights and chrome trim. There are also minor touches to the interior with an improved infotainment system and digital cockpit system. Under the hood, the Volkswagen Passat V8 facelift is available with three petrol engines, four diesel units and a plug-in hybrid version. 50 years after the launch of the first Passat model, Volkswagen is showing the world what an impressive and lasting evolution means in the automotive world. The new Passat V9 impresses from its exterior and interior design to its performance. It is only available in the estate bodywork, and the surfaces are more sculptural, the lines more dynamic, and the dimensions larger. The newer LED headlights offer an aggressive look and are linked together by the means of a horizontal LED strip in the radiator grille, which is narrower, and the continuous tail lights emphasize the width of the car. The interior architecture of the new Passat is completely new, with a completely redesigned digital cockpit and an equally new infotainment system. Another new element is the center console, which now offers more storage space as the gear shifter is located on the steering column. Regarding the engine, the Passat B9 is available with seven different engines, mild hybrid gasoline, ETSI, two PHEV systems, e-hybrid, three turbo diesel units, TDI, and two turbo gasoline, TSI. The Volkswagen Passat is a car that has written history in the automotive world, becoming a symbol of quality, reliability, and innovation. If you also like the Passat, leave a comment and let us know which is your favorite generation. 